stay at home as long as you can. But when in labour, what does that actually mean? So many women I work with want something more tangible to go on. A checklist or timing, an app or just someone to tell them. Why not just go into hospital immediately if you're birthing there? Well, I'm afraid that maternity wards are busy places. If you arrive with a great deal of time to go, they would rather sensibly offer the space and care to a woman further along in labour than you. Also, where will you physically and mentally be most comfortable? A waiting room? A shared antenatal ward with just curtains for privacy? Or your home with quiet comfort? Your own food, cushions, bed, blankets, hot water bottles, bath and shower. The three surges, contractions, rushes, and a 10 minute window is a nice guide. If you have three full on surges within a 10 minute time frame, you are possibly well on your way. However, it doesn't always give the full picture. Many women may reach the three and 10 stage, but actually not be in established labor. So leaping into the cab and heading to hospital using only this guide may be unhelpful. So let's get into the feeling of it. You have noticed that a tightening and aching is occurring and this is happening fairly rhythmically. While it's happening, you need to breathe and focus. But when it stops, you're good for moving around, chatting, getting on with things. This is probably not established labor. When those surges or contractions require you to sink down into the sensation, breathe, move, and possibly make noise. And in the gaps in between, you are so focused, you do not chat or just carry on doing things. Then this is probably established labor. You may find yourself wanting to head to the bathroom. You might possibly be sick. You may want to retreat to the quietest room in the house and not talk to anyone. It feels as though your body is just taking over. At this point, you're probably in business. Many women giving birth for the first time worry about arriving at the hospital too late. This is very rare though. If you start to feel that heavy fullness inside the pelvis, a pressure against the lower back and the pubic bone, then you will still have time to get there, assuming you're not miles and miles away, of course and now is a good time to go. This will mean less time hanging around at the hospital. You will, I trust, be so deep into your labour that you will be less distracted by the journey or arrival. There will also be less opportunity for unnecessary intervention or artificial speeding up of labour once you get there. So, stay at home as long as you can. Or perhaps you might want to consider a home birth and just have everyone come to you. <laughs>